And just so everyone knows, this guy right here is responsible for this awesome coop build. He did a great job. So, big thanks to Phil. Okay. Hi everybody, welcome to Sutton's Days. So, we're back to working on the coop. And right now we're laying chicken wire on the floor. I am not <sighs> totally happy with the chicken wire. It's not what I expected. It's a larger um, mesh. mesh. Thanks for the word. <laughs> it's a larger mesh than I wanted. So what we're doing is we're taking it from there to there, okay, and we're securing it. We put it up, and then we put a piece of slat across the top of it, nailed the slat down. We did it all the way down and then came across to here. Same principle applies. He's putting in the final slat right now. Um, then we're going to take from that wall, come this way. It's going to be a double layer, okay, and then we'll take a look at it. Hopefully, okay. that's enough. Okay, so the floor was a project. The floor was definitely a project. But um, we have multiple layers of that poultry netting underneath. And then we have um, some, let's see, these two rows back here are boardwalk from an old resort around here. And then these ones are pallets. And then these ones are more of the boardwalk. What we are going to do is we're going to cut wood to block off that because we couldn't get any more level than that and let me walk over here that's as close as we can get so tomorrow we're going to spend our first dollar and more on um the coop and we're going to get some quick crete mix it up and pour it in there because that corner anyway is our security breach area um something dug this, the, the, the ground was just real soft. Anyway, so we're going to pour concrete all the way down that line there to reinforce that. And any place else that I can think of to pour concrete, okay? Um, so, now, before we call it quits for the night, because this has been an all-day thing, we are going to put, we're going to, we got to put board, we got to put a couple two-by-fours up and down for reinforcement, and then we're going to put up the two wall boards for the lower part. I'm not dealing with a ladder today. Um, and that is what we're doing for tonight. That'll be calling it quits. We'll be back out here tomorrow, because if it kills someone, we're getting this coop done. Okay, we were determined. Somehow that wasn't enough. So, we got the wall up. We got the wall up and um, we're kind of done. We're just kind of done. We have to frame in the door and this area here, you know, all over. Let me step outside so you can see it. That whole area there. The door is going to be in the middle, so we have to frame up that door by we, probably Phil. Um, then we'll have like a partial wall up on either side of it and then chicken wire over. And then we have to put the roof on. And then we'll be done. So while I really, really, really wanted it to be done this weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to build new nesting boxes. And I saw a plan on Pinterest, I think. I don't know. Or Google. Google. Um, that we're going to do. And then, well, the nesting boxes. Nesting boxes are one. Yeah. Not the, for the nesting boxes. I saw a plan on Google for the roost that we're going to do for in here. <clears throat> and then... Uh, the nesting boxes, we have this cabinet. I'll take you over there and show you. Uh, we have this cabinet that we're going to put in there. We still have to put in the door or the window for light. It's probably going to go in there someplace. And then the door to go outside. Um, even though they will not be going outside right away, they're still kind of young. But by next weekend, I want the littles in here because they're starting to get too big for the brooder box that they're in. But we have <clears throat> a little bit of clearing away to do, a little bit of cutting to do, and then we have to get that scrap stuff up so that we can put up the fence. So that's this week's update for the coop. <clears throat> we are at, I think, $50 so far. We've spent $50. That's the part that's taking so long, quite honestly, is that we are using all repurposed materials. So all the repurposed materials make things a little interesting sometimes. You gotta 
recut ends and you gotta pound out nails and that kind of stuff. But so far we've got fifty dollars in this epic coop. The rough side. Now they're doing the door. Poof. We have light. Should we drill another hole? And they are all home. Getting used to a lot more room. Very happy. We'll get the nesting boxes up in the next couple weeks and get them all set and ready to go. Okay, this was our coop build for roughly under $100 using all repurposed materials that we had sitting around the farm. Um, hopefully, sorry, we just unloaded them. I'm kind of out of breath. Um, hopefully soon I'll have enough light that I can show you how pretty these guys are because they are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous chickens, and they're having fun. Okay, remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Whew, until the next time, everyone, be safe.